We all know that food waste is a big issue. Globally, we're throwing away 1.3 billion tonnes of food each year. That's 750 billion US dollars worth of food. But there's so much more to food waste than that. Have you ever thought about the water, land, energy, labour, capital, greenhouse gas emissions that go to waste when we throw away food? Did you know that $700 billion worth of natural resources are thrown away each year because of food waste? This is a video about what really goes to waste when we throw away food. This is the story of one apple's journey from the bin and back again. Meet Alfie. He's found himself in a supermarket dumpster, cold and alone. He's not as crisp and white as he once was, but given a chance, Alfie would make a really great pie or juice. Now, the supermarket has thrown him out because he doesn't meet consumer standards. But if he was in your fridge, you might have thrown him out too. Australians waste 4 million tonnes of food per year. That's 8 to 10 million dollars worth of food. Not only does that pack a punch in the coin department, but all that wasted food is having a huge impact on our environment. Wasted food ends up in landfill, where it begins to break down and release harmful gases into the atmosphere. Globally, the carbon footprint of food produced and not eaten is huge. If food waste was its own country, it would sit third behind China and America, on the list of the world's biggest CO2 producers. Rotting food in landfill generates a little greenhouse gas known as methane, which, FYI, is 25 times more potent than carbon dioxide. Within a five-year period, methane traps up to 100 times more heat in the atmosphere than CO2. Here's a fun fact. In Australia, the amount of greenhouse gases produced by food waste in landfill is equivalent to the combined emissions of our steel and iron ore industries. Just take a moment to let that sink in. OK, we're back at the supermarket where for a short amount of time, Alfie found a home amongst a number of perfect looking apples. Seriously, these apples were so goddamn good looking, Adam and Eve wouldn't have stood a chance. And why is that? Well, it's because supermarkets set ridiculously high cosmetic standards for fresh produce. The expectations they place on farmers when it comes to an item's weight, size, shape and appearance means only the best apples make the cut. Our two retail giants, Coles and Woolworths, really are the fresh food people. They control 70 to 80% of the fresh food market here in Australia. That means if your produce isn't meeting their cosmetic standards, you're missing out on a whole lot of market. The distance food travels before it's consumed is what we call food miles. In Australia, the average shopping basket of food travels 70,000 kilometres before reaching the consumer. And while that may sound like a lot, the distance food travels makes up a really small part of a bigger food emissions story. When it comes to total carbon emissions from food, only 11% is a result of transportation. Compare that to a whopping 80% of emissions from production, and you can see why food miles might not be the best way to assess the environmental impacts of food. Welcome to Nine Mile, the biggest apple processing plant in the Southern Hemisphere. 800,000 apples are processed here daily. Credit to them, those 800,000 apples need 200,000 litres of water to be processed, and Nine Mile reuses and recycles every single drop. But the same can't be said for all processors. Water consumption at the processing stage is one of the biggest environmental issues of food production. In Australia, 215 gigalitres of water is used every year when processing food. That's 86,000 Olympic-sized swimming pools of water. And while Nine Mile is innovative in their approach to food, they're still pouring heaps of resources into their apples. Their electricity bill is $100,000 a month, and they employ 60 people for eight hours a day. That's 2,400 hours of manual labour a week not to mention all the one-time used cardboard boxes they go through to pack and transport their apples. All of those resources go to waste when we throw away food. And this is just one processing plant, in one state, in one country. It doesn't stop there. The huge amount of resources poured into food production begins at the very first stage of the food supply chain, agriculture. The agriculture industry is Australia's largest consumer of fresh water. 70% of our fresh water is used to irrigate land and crops. Agricultural activities such as clearing land, introducing exotic species, and using pesticides and fertilizers also have a lasting impact. Habitat loss, decline in biodiversity, increased vulnerability to pests, these are significant issues caused by large-scale farming. And then there's the methane and nitrous oxide from livestock, nitrogen fertilizers, the energy used in irrigation and other farming systems. 
It's no wonder agriculture contributes 18.8% to Australia's overall greenhouse gas emissions. So think about it. Think about the time, the money, the labour, the energy, the land, the water, the electricity, the cardboard, the plastic, the petrol that went into bringing that little piece of food into your life. And think about everything that goes to waste when you or a supermarket throws it in the bin. And remember, it doesn't have to be that way.